What is up everybody, Josh here again, and today we have a very small Starfield update for you. This is update number 1733, released today at September the 25th of 2023. And we're going to go over all the small updates and patches that are in the game. Don't forget if you like the Starfield updates, to subscribe to the channel. We'll have Starfield updates anytime that Starfield updates. Without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? Starfield Update 1733 brings some fixes to Xbox. Small update went out for Starfield today for the Xbox X and S series and Microsoft Store and Steam. This update addresses some issues with performance stability as well as a few general issues with gameplay. They're working on their larger update with all those quality of life improvements like the maps and cities and stuff, but they want to continue to thank you for your feedback and support of Starfield as we look into a future with you on this journey. As mentioned, it was a really, really small update with some fixes and improvements. For example, in general section, we have fixed an issue where some characters were not in their right position, and they fixed an issue where some star stations was labeled as player-owned ships. Vendors, they addressed an issue that allowed for a vendor's full inventory to be accessible. Now, I don't condone this, but some people actually have been using this. So there was two very famous glitches with the boxes and whatnot for the vendor's boxes they just mentioned. One of them like right here in Aquila City, for example. I know I actually found this one myself, but never used it right in around this corner right here you can't actually access that one right now anymore and then you also had i think there was one out and over in here it was right underneath these power lines here um in the middle of Kila city as well and you can't actually access this box in here as well which is great because it was kind of cheaty to be able to see that while you're running downwards you could see a box and it was like thousands of credits and gear and stuff you could sell so glad that they actually fixed that moving on to graphics amd pc they resolved an issue where the star lens flare would not appear correctly with amds they also addressed an upscaling issue that would cause textures to become blurry and resolved an issue where you could have photosensitivity issues when scrolling through the inventory menu performance and stability got the hand scanner addressed with the issue of it hitching and various stability and performance improvements to address crashes and freezing they fixed an issue that in ship mannequins the stuff doesn't disappear off them anymore thank god and fixed an issue that would cause stored items in the razor leaf storage containers and weapon racks to disappear after commandeering that ship and that's really it for this update there wasn't really much for this update but they are working a little bit more towards the quality of life improvements that you could see on the previous update like brightness contrast hdr fov slider all this good stuff right here so once they release that that'll probably be the next update if not we'll see you next time Don't don't forget if you like what you see to like comment subscribe and all that good stuff and hopefully we'll see you next time peace